Hi, I'm Robert Lofthouse. I teach microprocessors in the engineering science department. And um, today we're showing off our projects the students worked on at the end of the semester. The students um, learned to program microprocessors during the semester and then for a final project they come up with some design to use the microprocessor to control to, to complete a task. So these are the, today they're showing off their work. We wanted to make a drink mixer. Basically there's a screen on the side and two buttons to choose your options and then once you choose your options there's four DC motors on the inside that run and open each tubing with whatever drink option you chose. Our final project here, it's a Hot Wheels track based around the idea of like an arcade game. Twelve cars at the top going down the track and uh, using a lot of the stuff that we learned this year. It, it takes the speed of each car and then the fastest car is then displayed. This is for our engineering class. It displays LED messages. It's one strip of LEDs that spins around in a circle and they, and they fire at just the right time. They light up to display a message on the screen. So right here we have one, uh, one line of LEDs. This will spin around and uh, there's a light sensor right here that fires whenever it uh, goes through and that will allow the LEDs to go off at the right time. This is a gumball machine the students built. And they have uh, a sensor so when you put a dime in the machine, it turns on a motor and the motor pushes the gumball down a chute and uh, out the end and then it shuts the motor off. We, uh, we basically made the RC car. We want to control car and we used two 328, 18 mega 328 chip to one B transmitter, one B receiver and make it wirelessly with the XB, which is the serial transport for a controller. We use the potentiometer and then use the DC motor to run the car. 